what's going on YouTube it is a video that you are watching on the channel of Cyber Neuro Druid and we're playing After the Storm Battle for Wethnoth campaign I had not seen the high snowy peaks of the Hart Mountains in a long time when last we traveled through them it was with one of Uriah's foul henchmen in hot pursuit Mal Hecuba powerful undead sorcerer of the Iron Triad, one of those that counted themselves the leaders of Uriah's cult on Eretia and the Chaos Empire in Argan's absence. Even then, somehow his power seemed greater than Malin Keshar's own. It would be highly unfortunate for us to come across him now, of all times, as our own necromancer seems to have been debilitated by the ordeal of the Empire's capital. Episode 1, Scenario 2, High Pass. I think there are quite a lot of scenarios in Wesnoth called High Pass. There is at least one with exactly this name in the scenario in the campaign Hammer of Thirst again. Um, so let's see, this is probably a scenario with the objective get to the end. Um, so far, I mean, the, the, pre the previous scenario wasn't hugely exciting. Um, it's just defeat the one enemy leader, which I guess is what you'd expect for a campaign opener. This place gives me chills. Perhaps this path was not a good choice after all. Pa, leave your worries behind. There is nothing to... <sighs> and who called upon you? So it is as the town folk warned us. This pass is infested with undead. We'll have to give them a final rest before we can proceed any further. Oh, this will be boring. <laughs> yeah, Malkesha, I think, may have it right. This is the scenario where we have to defeat a bunch of undead. Um, let's see how it goes. I mean, I've got my own undead to defeat the undead, so there'll be lots of undead on undead action. Okay, got to defeat the enemy leaders. Got to keep my three heroes alive. Let's look at my recall list. I've got a Fire Fairy, who's level 2. Um, we'll recall her, but not straight away, because I want to keep her alive, and standing right in front of two level 2 undead is not necessarily conducive to that. Also, I've got Skelton Archer I can recall, and all of these sprites are pretty much worthy of recall, because they cost 20 gold anyway. For now, though, we need to defeat Necrophages, so you know what it's going to be. It's going to be my good old favourite, some Skelton Archers. Aha, and now... I can have ghosts. And so first of all, Mal, you go over here. Wow, okay. Yeah, perfect moment there. Malkish <laughs> misses with all of his attacks. Uh, so that was what? Eight? Five, five attacks at 70% to hit, which he managed to miss with all of them. Like, I guess he really has been deteriorated by his experiences in the heart. Um, let's see if Alinea can do any better. Uh, I mean, this one, they're both on houses, so they're going to heal quite fast. Uh, but probably not fast enough to withstand this. Um, what I don't have, what I won't have, is any healers. So I need to be a bit careful with Alinea. Yeah, that was also pretty poor. I just got three hits out of 15 with 70%, three hits out of 10 with 70% attack. Um, yeah, not great, not great at all. All right, let's have some more skeleton archers, see if you can get around. No, okay, those are the people. This one also, so he will have a ghost. Let's have this archer back. I've got a ton of gold, hopefully, well, I suspect that means that that just means that this campaign is going to be that that just means that this level is going to be hard. I think start getting dark adepts out because if they can level up and they do so relatively fast, they will be beasts, and beasts I will need. In comes the poison. Okay, 
All right, now you hit, don't you? You can come to the house and deal fire damage. You should level up just by hitting it. There we go, we've got our very first level 2 undead unit. And can you get the kill? Mm -hmm, not quite. Maybe if you go around the back. Alright, so... <laughs> it's not my day. Oh well. You two both just press forward and Galas can get the he can get the house. Gonna recruit more. Um, if I'm gonna be fighting undead, then I probably want more ghosts, and I probably want more dark adepts. And then at the end of it, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a few sprites slash fire fairies out so that I can do some fighting during the day and in woods as well. No elves. Elves are not on the menu. Okay, well I know what's going to happen now, which is that this Dark Adept is going to get slashed at. Like clockwork. Still. There we go, you could have done that before, couldn't you? 20 experience, good for you. we we'll go back to base, and then we can explore with some ghosts. Looks like up to the north there isn't very much to be seen. There's just mountains. And those mountains are impassable. Probably the same is true down here to the south. Okay, there's a, a revenant. So this is one of those campaigns where I'll have to proceed at moderate speed. Um, I've got a ton of turns here. I guess the idea is that I can earn some gold. Um, there's clearly a green player and there's a blue player. Alright, you can get onto the defensive position. Alinea, you can stay where you are and get a good deal of health. A mile you can step forward and I think I'm just gonna recruit sprites and ghosts maybe just a few of them actually why did I recruit I could have just recalled one that has my experience I can't undo that well Sithrane you're on the team congrats and I'll have three more I'll have you I'll have um, you're both resilient, so having someone resilient could be good. Actually, you're all resilient. That's kind of nice. And a ghost. And right at the back, my fire fairy. And then, hopefully, I'll get four more villagers soon and be able to even out the income. Alright, we've got zombies, we've got zombies on the horizon. I guess I should form a defensive line and wait for them to come to me. Um, sad thing about fighting zombies is that they're actually pretty good against skeletons because they do impact damage. Who's in the lead? You two can reach a little bit further than the others. So I could just try and lure you out with someone, maybe a ghost. Actually, that's good. Only one of you can reach. It's the second morning. Um, fortunately, the daytime is just as bad for me as it is for anyone else. Me, it being a fight against undead. Don't want to press forward too far or this revenant will get in the way. You keep scouting along. 
Yep, nothing much to be seen up there. Actually, I could even have you fight Malkeshar, but that's 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 a waste of his abilities, really. Let's do a bit more scouting down here. Can anyone reach? Not even close. Okay. All right, lots of uh, rather boring undead units coming our way. We can just form a defensive line and fight them off. Try and funnel them down to the south. I think that's a better place for me to do the fighting because I've got this forest. Don't want to fight on the snow up here. Okay, and we're in a good place. That's a lot of undead. Still daytime. Can still get them into a position where probably best if I just if I do just form a line. Alinea's healed a bit because she's in the in the snow. You go back behind her. Still no one can reach you. So you sit tight. I notice the fog is coming in behind. Get you behind, and who can I put up front? Someone who won't get killed. Different ghost like you, and then Galas. But Galas, you go next to Anne Linde so that you stay safe, because you could just kill all the zombies, and that would be bad for your own health. Finally move everyone else up. Alright, and uh, take it from there. Okay, the green player is gradually moving forward. Blue player has ghosts, which is irritating because it means that I could get flanked over here. I need to prevent that from happening by using my own ghosts. Galas is fine. Alinea probably yeah, just use the fire attack, do all the damage. There is a skeleton here, but it's the daytime, so not too worried yet. Okay, not great on the hitting things front. Let's see if this ghost can do any better. Oh, 
Alright, you move down and get some healing. You come up here and take out this zombie. And then I'll let the ghosts in for some fun. And I'm going to bring the sprites up behind. Some of them anyway. You can go and get healed. There we go. Nice defensive position there. Oh, ghosts. Fighting ghosts. Well, my ghost is a little bit jammier than your ghost. Am I going to mount a rescue? Am I going to bring someone out to... More zombies move in. Lots of zombies. You're the fire fairy. I don't want you to die. But you can get in there as well. And if you get two hits, that archer will go down. Oh, that's good. You now still can't get out. And you will get surrounded and chopped up by other undead units. So only shot by archers, which aren't very effective against you. But nevertheless, if you want to kill this ghost, well, that's looking unlikely. So I'm going to need to do some more switching and swapping. Malkesha will need to come around here. Galas, you go up here. Hmm, and what to do over here? Probably leave you... maybe bring the ghosts up front. I don't really want them to get swarmed. You're on 14 health. Maybe I can take the ghost out with the archer once I've attacked it with my own ghost. Not with rolls like that. Randomness, not my friend. Okay. I only, need, I, don't, I only needed one hit there for that to be reasonable, um, but I guess hoping for reasonability is as unreasonable. I'm just going to attack this ghost with a mountain ghost. Alright, tit for tat. Won't last long. Skeleton going down. We're left mostly with zombies now. Oh yes, that's more like I that's more like what I like to see. Now let's see the rest of this green horde waste itself. Unfortunately my gold is also wasting itself because I can't get to these houses in the background. But uh, well, nothing can be done about that, not really. What's gonna happen down here? Well we'll find out. Oh, lose the ghost fight. 
I'm gonna lose this ghost too. Not without uh, ineffectual attacks. Still lots of zombies. It's night time, so time for more damage to be dealt. I could start pushing forward now. I'm not sure it's the wisest of choices. Uh, you should probably try and get back. But, hmm. Okay, I'll try and kill with you, you with Mal Malkashar. Um, and I need to put someone who isn't Galas in the center of the line. Because Galas, I think, might die if I put him there at night. All right, you can now escape. You'll die if you go anywhere. You can you can come here and wail. You come back here. You come out, finish off that zombie. You hopefully finish off this zombie. I'm. This is why I'm, I'm slightly more afraid of the zombies than I am of anyone else, and the main reason for that is that. Uh, if they get in touch with a powerful melee unit, they can just suicide on them, and then they'll take it. I will take a ton of damage um, without much. Um, I could melee attack now, but I just want to incre slightly increase the chances of survival of this ghost by doing it like this. Uh, you can come back here. You can come back as well. But you can't get within healing range. Hmm. Do I want to put another ghost here? Yeah, alright. More wailing. Ineffectually. And you probably I should have put you on the house if you could get there because it's more important for me to get Galas healed up. You can just come back here. And then we're good. And I think, certainly, it's long dark now, but uh, I can start pushing forward in a turn or two. Ha! You don't see that very often. Punched to death by a skeleton archer. So Blue's troops are starting to arrive, and oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, that's bad. Here's where the, where the zombies start doing their thing. Alright, I'm not going to push forward just yet because Blue's coming in. Blue's got a few units back here that aren't ghosts. Um, so I'll just wipe up what I've got and then I think next turn should be pushy time unless there are more units around. reach the front lines, so I don't want to bring my Dark Adepts out. The problem with Dark Adepts is they're so, so fragile that you can't really use them for anything much. They'll be just in incredible danger of getting killed, whatever you put in their way. So I'd, even, even though I'd like to use some up here, doesn't seem wise. Both these ghosts are going to run for the hills. Gonna stick you here. 
Galas can come back into the bulk of the fighting. Gonna use his bow for this. You whale. And that pretty much finishes off the zombies for me. Now if you really want to come through, I would allow you to come and attack one of my dark adepts, who will get experience from it. Probably the resilient one. Let's see if that's... or maybe you'll just punch him in the face. Everyone likes punching Dark Adepts, because Dark Adepts are one of the rare units in the game that do not have a melee attack at all. Highly unusually. Okay, they go for the poison on the one poisonable guy. And Galas tanks some damage. Yeah, see, that went well. I would like you to survive. Hmm. Now, this is the point where I could press forward. There are only a few more blue units coming in. Uh, most of them don't have a huge range. Would like to do a bit of ghost scouting to see if I can. Okay, there are more blue units coming. So I need to be a bit cautious. Maybe I will retain my position for one turn longer. Are they going to just keep on spawning dudes? It seems like blue has got to run out of money soon. Aha! We've got an after maximum level for Alinea. Right now, I think I'm going to give her the strength boost because if she's fighting undead those hit points and that melee damage will be handy Galas wants to head behind get some health you can go up here because you are not needed the fire fairies and the dark adapts have done nothing in this fight but that's just the nature of the kind of creatures we've been fighting and the nature of the battle. These guys are very good at mopping up undead, but I'm only going to use them for that purpose once I'm sure they won't be killed. And I'm currently not sure they won't be killed. Okay. Um, so you get back there. You come out here. Good. Going to put a... Skeleton an archer that I don't really care about up here. Gonna bring Galas in for the healing. Gonna shoot this walking corpse. It'd be nice for you to get some healing too, but I don't think it's feasible. Can you go north one? Will you be out of their range if you do that? Yeah, you will. Good. Okay, and there's a... Ah, but up back here there's a bone shooter. So these guys aren't gonna move. Blue, I think, has more money than green. It looks like blue has fairly substantially more money than green, but given that blue's initial recruitment has almost worn off, we can we can kind of go for it a bit. All right, we can see up here there's a death blade, so I'm gonna have to go up and around eventually. Ah, oh, lots of death blades guarding the path in little turrets. Can lure them out one by one. Delinea is my only healer and will remain so, so I need to make sure that uh, she sticks around in forests. Green has clearly got a decent enough... Oh, she didn't heal. 
interestingly. You can't, yeah, she can't unpoison on her own, off her own bat, so she needs to stay in forests if she's poisoned. And there are more units coming out. Um, I, I, I think it might not be possible for me to stay behind as much as I'd like, because the blue and green players are going to get income this way, so I might have to start pressing forward, even though I'm worried about doing so. And I think the best way of doing so is using units at the back, who I think are tanky enough to survive the hits. Um, well, no, sorry. Use units at the back who I think are not tanky enough to survive hits. Gah, no kill. Like you, you're not tanky at all. But you can kill things. And now I just need to press forward. If I, I think two layers is what I want to press forward right now. I won't quite aggro the Revenant, but everyone else will be coming for me. And the first thing I need to do in order for that to work is I need to kill this archer. Mm, not great. Galas, can you kill this ghoul for me? That will do. Then I can use sprites. Right, and now if I step forward, don't want anyone to be there. I need to protect these guys too. Can protect them with a ghost. You can reach around, so I'll put another ghost around here. Just for just for you, probably. Maybe you could kill that as well. Hmm. Oh well. Tricky thing is to know what to do with Alinea at this point. Also a bit tricky to know what to do with some of my other powerful units, like this bone shooter. I think should come in the middle because I'm gonna need him to deal damage. Over here, no one can get down here, that's good. So you just hop forward. And if anyone wants to come and attack you and go on that piece of snow, they can. Inch by inch. Malkeshar tanking that much damage, but at least those zombies are out of the way. And now, the way forward doesn't look too bad. Here, I think I see a castle. And that means... That means... Oh, oh, oh boy! That means that there are enemy leaders around. Okay, first thing first. You go up here and deal a ton of damage. A ton of damage?! What? Okay, that was one hit, two hits, two yeah, one hit from uh, from fifty from seventy percent. Okay, yeah, random number generator is not my friend today. Um, Elinia is gradually losing health down here. I could take her in and uh, try and take out this revenant. You're on 22. What can you do? You just, you just go back for now. 
can't kill it. Since I'm going to probably lose this ghost anyway, I could just sacrifice it, or I could use a weaker ghost. No, all the ghosts are pretty, pretty rubbish, to be honest. Um, okay, try and get some hits. That was good. Alright, so now you... can get a nice shot of experience in the arm. You can come up here and not quite a kill but it's close Mal, I don't mind if you hmm. now as long as Alinea stays in the forest she's good Again, not dealing a ton of damage, which is a shame. I could put a sprite in a position where it could get attacked and killed in order to try and get some more positional advantage here, and I think that's probably worth it. Alright. Can you kill this ghoul? Oh, not... Hmm, so close. No one with leadership or anything? No. See if you can get both hits. Yes! Okay, both hits. And you also, you're both doing pretty well on experience for Dark Adepts. Who have the consistency of paper towels. Alright, won't aggro the bone shooter, won't aggro whoever this leader is back here. Um, we'll... Go here. And then I'll see. Bah. <laughs> Taking a, a few a few hits in order to uh, to progress a bit faster here. That's gonna that's gonna hurt Galas but I think I'm otherwise all right down here. So now someone ought to be able to kill this thing without too much trouble. And let's make it you. Since sprites aren't generally the easiest folks to level up. And now you, unlikely to kill it actually. So I'll send in an archer. Who does nothing, and now I will use you. Alright, if I bring a ghost around here, which I feel like I should, um, I'm going to aggro the bone shooter, but I think I can take it. Okay, green has summoned a skeleton. Oh no! No hits from, from our ghostly friend. This weakened ghost, or, or this other weakened ghost, could come and save the day, but, you know, I don't think that's hugely useful. You step forward, and then I want at least one of you in a, in a position where you can heal. Are they all going to go for this ghost now, this ghost with 11 experience? They might. Wouldn't mind if they did, to be honest. That would just mean that my sprite would be okay. Uh, which of you has more experience? That's definitely you. So you come down here and get in the best healing position. And you... Ah, uh, to sacrifice or not to sacrifice. I'm just going to leave you where you are and you'll gain a couple of hit points. Okay, it's all good except for Alinea losing health. It's daytime again, so I can do a lot of fire damage. And this thing has fully healed. So 
So let's see how best to how best to accomplish this. Want to do more damage than that? Yes, he was the leader of the patrol group that replaced mine just before the Chaos Empire invaded our valley. Elf, know that Galas did not have the power to stop that invasion. But the Chaos Empire no longer has a leader. There is nothing that should force you to roam this world anymore. Oh, we'll personally make sure you don't go unpunished. Later. It is a waste of time to try to deal with this pile of bones. The necromancer who raised him probably used some malign spell to infect his soul with hatred towards every elf who outlived him. Okay, three hits from a fire fairy should do it. And naturally I get two, so maybe that means, well, let's, let's see if I can progress a bit further up here first. You're slow, so that means if you go into the woods, you will do a ton of damage. You might get killed if he hits with all his attacks. Let's just hope he doesn't. All right, not so powerful though. Um, just trying to get my angles right. Um, you use dark adept to kill these things. How about you? Can you be killed by a dark adept? You could, you could, if you if I got lucky. Lots of damage. Luck not my middle name today. So let's try and kill you with someone else, like this ghost, who will be very close to a level if I do. Now this house are uh, not quite in range of Naedi and the Draug, fortunately. Good, good. Okay, that's perfect. And Alinea can go up here. And heal. And that means... Oh, I was going to use a Dark Adept to take out this Revenant, but I could... Oh, I still could. I still could. But it's the one with no experience. And he hits. And that's very nice. Very nice indeed. Now you, Malkashar, can get into a position where you can both heal and, hopefully... Yeah, give that skeleton some welly. Alright, my income's not looking as crappy as it was. Bring some more people in to heal, maybe lure out this, uh, this one poor walking corpse. I could even try, yeah, okay. I'm going to use this weak ghost. Do you have the range? No, you don't. Okay, I'm going to use this weak ghost to try and lure out Niadian. Because he's the only one who can reach it. And if the ghost dies, then this leader will be in a very, very weak position and will get killed next turn. You go there, get health. You come out here. You also can come forward. And you too can get health if you just go around here. All right, we're in a good position. Sadly, Niadian is not that dumb. But now, I've got lots of units that can reach. 
Sithranova Sprite might be the unit to deal with this walking corpse. Now, both Elinia and Malkeshar can get in here, not be ranged by the zombie. Let's just see if there's anything around here. I always get a bit of trepidation in situations like this. My fire fairy is a bit, a bit weakened. Send this this ghost a bit up this way. Okay, I've got to move it because otherwise it will aggro that death blade. But okay, we're there. Try and do a slowing attack. Shall I try and do a slowing attack, or just just go straight in for the kill? I suspect straight in for the kill will be better. But let's see how well Malkashar does first. Pretty good. So yeah, now at this point, Elinia would need four out of five hits. I think I've got a couple of ghosts that could come in if she doesn't manage it. None of my other skeletons can reach. You can only reach that one spot. So, okay. Yeah, you go here. Not quite the kill. Alright, we got our first Wraith of the campaign. Hopefully it will last a long and prosperous time. No kill. There we go. And now this ghost is on 28 and 30 experience as well. So you get the house, and now I should... Um, that makes life harder because things are more expensive, but that's okay. Gallus, you need health, but not as badly as this guy needs health. This guy's going to threaten complete uselessness if I don't leave him behind. If I, if I do leave him behind, so... Deathblade is not going to be aggroed. And I'd like to get Galas in a position to be healed, but that is not an option. Okay, use the rest of these creatures to grab some houses for me. There's a zombie and a skeleton coming. But my priority right now is to heal up a little bit. I can do that with ghosts. The house grabbing part, that is. And this part. Ooh, there's a bane bow up there. Those guys are nasty. How much more of this level is there? You go there. Okay, so you have you've aggroed the the guy with the blades. That should be fine. It's daytime. And whoever goes here will aggro not only the bane blade but also this zombie. So that should that had better be someone tough. Why do we keep calling everything bane blade? This is a death blade. So, yeah, who was, who was it? what was I saying? Someone tough. <laughs> Malkeshar, the man himself. Galas, you go round. And now I'm in a positive income situation. You need health. You stay where you are for one more turn. You go down here, maybe? You come here. 
Yep, because north of that you would be aggroed as well. This is a safe square. Going to come around here so I've got some more fire support next time around. And you can go on there. Actually, you two can hop up one. So I'm in a good position to take whatever comes at me next turn. I can see the edge of the map. The blue leader can't be far off. Whack, whack, whack. Yeah, three big clouts with the staff. That's that's what I like to see. Doesn't help Elinia's state of health, but okay, Sarah, Sarah. She can stay where she is and just kill this. Always good to make sure Elinia gets kills on occasion. And we've just got some. We've got, there's another uh, death blade up here who I can try and aggro with someone who will survive. And maybe if I get a ghost out, then I can get it to stand here on the snow where it's incredibly weak. Yeah, you do that. Try not to die. Over here, meanwhile. Can probably I can kill all these things without too much danger. I'm just going to go scouting a bit over here. Nothing to see. Mal, you do this. Fire fairy. Good kill for you too. Can I get in on you? Yes, we've got to be careful. This spot is safe, as is this spot. So I can go in with a wraith. Well, it should be safe. Let's just see if there's anything else. Okay, just another skeleton on the ice. not super overwhelming not super underwhelming um, could try and go in with a sprite and get the kill bit dangerous need three hits won't die oh yes perfect all right now Galas you stay where you are and get health you can come up here you can't move quite fast enough but I think you're healed enough to be of use and you might even get a level if I keep you around. You move up north so that you're ready to help out against this guy. You go there. Oh, that's dangerous. I mean, I could just have you attack a pointless archer who's going to die anyway. Yeah, let's. If you want to do, if you prefer to do that, then that's fine. You'll be on the snow if you do that too. Yeah, and more of my units can get in that way. You move forward. You move upward. Whatever forward, ever upward. You. Do I even want to? I mean, I think it might not be a bad idea even to aggro this banebow. If I survive its attack, I will level. Which is bad for my income, but meh. Okay. Oh, come on! That's three hits on 50%. Well, of course it would be, wouldn't it? And I only did one damage in return. And Malkashar can't reach the Banebow. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, as the Chuckle Brothers would say. Alright, Alinea, you want a bit more health before you move off. Everyone else, though, is good to go.
Okay, only tricky part here is there are a fair few nasty undead coming in. Um, I think I can put the Malkeshar where he's the only one that the Bane Blade can... can... <laughs> Why am I even calling the Bane Bow a Bane Blade now? Everything's a Bane Blade! Oh! You go there, you stay healing, you go here, get some health too, you can push forward. You... Okay, you can reach there, you can reach there. You can reach there. You can be skeleton attacked, so that's fine. They can't kill you. You can get some health. You can go forward just a little bit. Up and forward. Alright. Rubbish. Okay, this Bane Blade is uh, clearly very good at hitting things. Now, gotta be a little bit careful up ahead because who knows what's going to happen with a frozen river, and I bet there are some guards in place. Halfway through the turn limit, let's go. You can take the lead, because I want... Ah, the traitors! Never again will you see the sunlight, for I shall feed your impious souls to Yehnagar. The same old tune. These goons should seek a new job or something. Okay, no great injustice there. Um, I'm gonna have to be careful with the Lee and the Lich because it does cold and arcane damage. Normal Undead should be reasonably good against it, so I can start moving my Skeletons up. Who can get in? You can get in to attack this guy. For what that's worth. Uh, you could potentially come here and get this kill. Now, every one of these turrets has had a Defender in it, so I'm kind of worried that this one up here does as well, and that it's invisible. It would be a sneaky move, but by no means against the spirit of this kind of campaign. Alinea, you move up, you get some health in the woods. Malkesha, you go in front. Okay, no kill for you. You get a kill, and you become either a Wraith or a Shadow. Now, since I had so little success with Shadows in the previous campaign, maybe I'll see if I can improve upon that this time round. There we go, there's a Shadow. Trouble with trouble with Shadows is, well, I've already discussed this for far too long, but um, they're useful for killing things when no one else can, but that puts them in positions where they get killed when no one else can, and then they die, and then they're dead, and then they're gone. And that's the end of the Shadows. No more Shadows. I'm not going to rush in here, I'm going to take it slow. Maybe I've already rushed too much, who knows. Oh, Gallus, you can't quite get as far as you'd like. You can go to the back, and you can go to the front. Alright. Alright, whoever goes on this house is going to get the uh, a death blade in its face. That's fine, that can be mal.
again slow and steady across this part of the map get the skeletons in there I'd like to be able to use a ghost to scout down here, but I'm running short on expendable ghosts. If you stay there, you'll be on full health, which would be, I think, better than pretty much anything else I could hope for. Too much okay you're not going to attack Malkishar are you? you're going to attack this dude but that's all right I can live with that Ooh, really no one's going to come out to play well let's take you over here and see if there is any no there isn't anything there I really, really thought there'd be an invisible guardian on this on this tile. Oh dear. Okay, well. <clears throat> Malkesha. You need to clear the way ahead. Slightly tricky to know how to play this. I'm going to put Elenia in front. This zombie can do what it likes. And then I would like to get people across the river over here. Um, now, if you really want to chill Tempest my sprite when it's on defensive terrain over here, then you can be my guest. But in the meantime, the sprite will block the advance of some of my better troops. It's only midday, so I've got time. Gas, you can fire on all cylinders. Similarly with you, I think. Um, Oh, I'd rather not lose you. You're better. I'm going to keep you behind in a, in a spot where you can't quite be reached by Mr. Litchi. And my Dark Adepts are going to have to just be useless. But unless this guy pulls something weird out of the bag, next turn I should be able to wrap this up. All right, cool beans, bring it on. So the zombie doesn't do much good. You guys are out of range. It's a shame these guys can't reach. Ugh. Now both Alinea and Mal can reach Mr. Big, and they can both zap him without too much concern for their own well-being. Starting with Alinea, I think. Um, 
Oh no, Malkashar is actually slightly too slow. That does change how I want to play this. Is he actually too slow, or is it just because there's a just because there's a dude there? Well, I don't think I'll be able to kill the dude anyway, so it's maybe a moot point. Use Malkashar to kill the dude. Use Malkashar to fail to kill the dude. Use this guy. No way. No way. Use the Fire Fairy. Alright. Then things are opened up a bit. And I've got several units who can get in here. Deal massive damage. Just for completeness sake, going to move the rest of these units up too. So you, 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 and you should all be able to do your thing. Now Gallus is worst at this because he can get drained. Um, the ghosts aren't great either because they could get killed. And you do blade damage which and, and during the daytime, which isn't ideal. So let's first see what what Anne Linde can get up to. Alright, so it seems unlikely that I can get the kill this turn. And in, with that in mind, it seems like my best bet is to avoid moving anyone else into range just now. Frustrating, but there it is. Next turn, we've got it. Don't you dare bugger off down there, that's only delaying the inevitable. I am vanquished! But I curse your race to never see a day of peace or joy again for the rest of eternity. So many times. I forget how many times they have said that. There's the win. We've got 88 bonus gold, which isn't bad. And yeah, pretty good game all around. Let's have a look at the stats. How many losses? A couple of ghosts. No one else lost. Um, would be would have been happy happy to lose a couple of those skeleton archers, to be honest. But uh, um, I didn't. And some sprites are much closer to a level. So yeah, great show. Interesting scenario. I mean, mostly this scenario is notable for Malkeshar's amusing dialogue, and not for any other reason. <laughs> but it's been fun, and I've got some uh, some good units on the way. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment if you are enjoying my content. And I will hopefully see you in the next video.